Hi guys, welcome back to the latest video. And this one, this was a mock test carried out last week, which was middle of August 2023. Going to have a few minor folks that you'll see. You're going to see a couple of serious folks to do with interactions with other cars and to do with a reversing exercise in one of the car parks. So hope you're all doing well and let's jump in. It's not actually too far away from here where we pick up the first fault. So we're coming along um, Aberdour Road and the learner is heading all the way to the other end where there's a set of traffic lights leading on to Hospital Hill. Now immediately after the traffic lights they're asked to take another right turn from the Hospital Hill area in towards St Andrew Street. So they get past this mini roundabout here and they get told to head along and take a right turn at the lights followed by an immediate right turn at the next set of lights. So the first fault that you're going to come across today was an early right signal for these traffic lights. Now the signal came on about here and if we pause the screen you're going to see an opening to the car park for the paint shop. So the fault was a signal timing fault which isn't too drastic. They actually done the traffic light turn fine and they also dealt with this set of traffic lights uh, right turn very well. So they got stuck waiting at the red light through well here. With this one, when you move into the middle, there's no secondary set of traffic lights. There's no filter light. You've got no other clues telling you when it's time to make your turn other than an opportunity, a gap in the oncoming cars. So the learner takes the first chance that they got, which was this one, and they got round okay. So no problems there. Very well dealt with. Skipping forward a little bit here. They got told to pull up on the left, normal stop. They could do that here, little bit of a positioning error, being out for the curb a bit too wide and just blocking someone's driveway. Nothing major came from it, but the advice was to get in that little bit neater and avoid the driveways. Now the next instruction that they were given was also to pull up on the left in a safe place. Now if you are one of my regular watchers of my channel, you will know that when I ask someone to pull up on the left at this very spot, you know what's going to happen here. It seems to happen all the time with this particular stop, even on test. Look, far too tight, wheels are about to get rattled. There. Every time. I don't know why. I asked the learner and they told me they were busy looking in their mirror at the time and I says, well, that's probably why. You need to be looking at the front, you need to be looking at that reference point across the bottom of your window. So anyway, subsequently we've had a bit look at that on a driving lesson and it seems to be working a little bit better. Right, they got told turn right, third exit, so they managed to do that absolutely fine. They came on, they came around, they came over, lots of nice checks, all good. And then they were coming up this hill, the instruction was to turn right, fourth exit, they managed to get themselves into the correct lane and they dealt with this roundabout very well. On, round, they followed the pathway, pushed out from the inside lane to this lane for coming off, absolutely fine, coming off on the right here. And then we skip forward a little bit in the video, the instruction was to take the next left turn uh, not that road, but the next one into the car park. Now the problem here is that they started slowing their car right down before they put an indicator on. So we have a routine, mirrors, signal, then it's your position and your speed, and it's meant to be done in that order. Now that white car behind us that you just seen in the mirror didn't know why we were slowing down. Because we hadn't signalled. So always remember, this is my advice, mirrors then signal, then deal with your speed and your position. Right, the instruction here was to find a bay anywhere in the car park 
and reverse the car into the bay. Now I'm going to just let this play through. The learner decides to come into this section here and have a bit look at the bays on the right hand side. Nothing wrong with that. Looks like a good area to practice in. Um, however, there were some issues here. So they didn't kick out at 45 degrees. You don't have to. You can keep it at 90 degrees parallel like this and try and come in. But it can sometimes come with its issues of not being very accurate as they made their way in. And that's exactly what happens here. The reverse to this point here. They're looking all around the car. Good observations, but not quite as accurate as they'd like. They look at me for a bit of guidance in which they got none because they're on a mock test. I just says deal with it in the way that you think is right. So they got their gear changed. They went out. Don't think they went as far forward as they could have. They had a bit of space to do a little bit more work than this. And they start reversing. Now they don't manage to get perfectly inside the bay, and but the real issue is they just completely forgot to do their observations when they were reversing. So the major faults here was on the way into the car park, slowing the car down behind them before they put an indicator on, and um, forgetting their observations when they were doing the reverse. And it just wasn't the most accurate of manoeuvres. They really did feel the pressure on this mock test. Told them to leave the car park, they end up going around the long way. Not a big deal, but there was a quicker way out than this. And the next part of the route was making their way back towards the spiral roundabouts up at Sinclair and um, down towards Bothwell Gardens. And um, from there, made their way back down towards St. Leonard's, where the Asda is. And they managed this bit fine, they got down here and just sort of skipping ahead down the road a little bit here. No problems on this roundabout, I think it was good. Now, this is the next fault, and it was a serious fault here. They're turning left, first exit. Now, if you look, you're going to see a vehicle that's broken down on the left. The boot just got closed there. There's a queue of cars coming towards us, and there's a white car waiting. The lorry makes its way through, but now my learner should really have been doing a holdback position here because they didn't have the priority. They've just forced their way through. They copied what the lorry was doing, but that poor white um, Volvo there had to give way to us. So that was a priority fault. Really don't just follow that car ahead unless you got maybe the white car flash the lights to say, yeah, okay then, come on through. That would have been fine. But there was no apparent flash there. So mark down as a priority fault. So guys, there we have it. You've seen the faults. I hope that just at least one person, just one person benefits from having watched this video. If you think it's been helpful, give it the wee thumbs up on YouTube. That helps things and share and subscribe. And um, I'm glad it's been helpful to you. And hopefully I'll be back with another one either this week or next week.